another day of drama is here now it definitely you know gets that attention when we see this information out there and ripple team asking that we can settle this but these are going to be our demands and right now it feels like the sec don't have too much on their side so they are being cornered right now with all this information coming out there is no doubt that SEC is going to lose. And with this, the idea of settlement is getting closer. Now, one of the stuff is it won't be the news of settlement which pushed the price higher. It would be the anticipation of the market that the price is going to go higher before it gets settled. So the anticipation of settlement is going to push the news to the upside. It will be, you know, the sell the news kind of event which is going to come up. So if you are preparing, you will be looking at the market. Now, when you look at the market, you also get different type of ideas, right? There are ideas like this. Okay, can it be a long term investment? Then you kind of see like, okay, now this is a negative and positive stuff together. Say, would actually say like banks have a big problem thanks to crypto now that is one of the reason why you see issues like this say mobiquick withdraws e-wallet service from crypto exchanges so you know that's in india one of the biggest country with considering the population and uh, the age of that population who are entering into the space so yes they have a big problem because of the crypto and they are trying to, you know, stay, the status quo is trying to, you know, stay relevant and make more money. But you also have leaders in the industry who, you know, initially tried to do the same. But right now they understand, no, it cannot be stopped. It really cannot be stopped. The genie is out of the bottle and there is no going back. So they are now investing in this one because they understand the requirement which the space demands and yes, you know, it's kind of moving towards the metaverse, NFT, that kind of area where people are now looking at all this. Exchanges are trying to, you know, fulfill the demands of the corporations and they are all entering the same market. So you look at the Coinbase, you know, Binance went in to India. When I talked to this, uh, when I talked really about this, people like, okay, that's a third world country. I agree. India is still developing. It's not a developed country. But the population and the age of majority of the population make that a huge market. Because crypto is not going away, one. And two, it's going to get massive adoption when more number of people enter into this. So one of my thought process here, now, you know, it's going to be macro perspective there, but uh, one of my main thought process here for a lot of you guys would be, okay, just look at your currency value mm -hmm, against dollar. Now, you're going to get a different perspective here. Go to the maximum. Now, this is basic technical understanding just with the charts. For me, I kind of feel like, okay, dollar is going to have a blow off the top. I agree from here, it may go to 80, 90, 95, who knows. But after that, it's going to go down. And the macro support is going to be somewhere close to 50. That is a 50 percentage drop from the current price. And if it goes to 90, that's a huge drop. 60 percentage drop. So INR is going to gain. Now, you can look at the same in different perspectives. Say money is coming to India from various directions. Majority from Middle East. You know, especially United Arab Emirates. Look at the pattern. It's slowly rounding off. And if it drops, it's going to drop all the way down to 12, 13. And with panic, even more. But one of the stuff which you have to understand in this particular scenario, is say, for example, you look at USD to AED. You will be surprised, Right? You look at this, it never moved much. Even during the financial crisis back in 2008, they kind of kept it stable. So yes, it's a manipulated market. The supply demand, they kind of match it up. So they won't let that happen. But towards AD to INR, it definitely went up like this because of the supply. And now money is going into the Indian market at this moment. So INR is moved that direction. But right now, the attention is going to shift. Now, if you are in Canada and you're looking at USD, now you can take the same, go to the maximum and look at this. This is important for you. Yeah, you had that issue back in 2008 crisis. You kind of matched up or went above dollar. Right now, you're making that rounded bottom. I try to go to the upside. 
So you can put the same perspective into a different currency here to see what's going to happen. On the macro term, towards that, you are still going to the upside. So there is a possibility dollar is going to go lower than Canadian dollar. Now, why am I saying this? Because when you come onto the assets which are priced in dollar terms, you are going to get advantage. Your purchasing power is going to increase. Now, at the same time, you do have to understand the market never moves in a direction which we want it to. Because say, for example, I've seen a lot of different stuff. Now, this particular article is a lot information it gives you a lot of clarity great but some of the perspective i kind of stay a little bit away from that see when they talk about the investments and all it's all great but when they talk about the allocation that's where a lot of people get it wrong right now if you look at these they are like okay these two cryptocurrencies ensure that your portfolio tracks the broad cryptocurrency market which two ether and bitcoin let me just come onto the market here, look at what they have done in last one hour, last 24 hours. Then you're like, okay, they've been doing like a percentage to two. But if you go look at the market, there are coins which have done 10 percentage close to that. And the market itself is below one percentage. So if you are saying, okay, they come close to this one, they are even better than that. Because there's a lot of coins which are going to drop. That is one area where I agree with them. When you are entering into any asset, you have to take your time and effort to understand what that asset is about, what the technology, what the project, you know, what that sector is about. And once you understand that, you're like, okay, this is going crazy. Now, coming back onto this one and then looking at what really is going on with the SEC case, we are like, okay, that's great. Now, the price action is important because we are in this cup and handle pattern on a shorter time frame chart and Bitcoin is kind of giving you a confusing idea. Say on a daily, the MACD is crossing to the downside. We have the lower support somewhere around $38,000, $39,000. And on a macro perspective, it still shows, okay, this is a bullish pattern, but you're getting rejected from the resistance. So you can still go to the downside. So let's go through these charts one by one, go through XRP, BTC, Ether, then look at XRP, BTC pair, and the altcoin market as involved and see what's ahead because the news and the perspective here is actually positive. Whether it's for the entire market or for Bitcoin, this is positive because the outside market is not looking great. And if you are following what is happening around the globe like Sri Lanka, Peru and other areas, you are getting things going to that area where there is no coming back, right? So let's dig deeper into this. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. This is one of the reasons we are looking at a lot of different assets and we are buying it in dollars. So it is important for you to look at this. We've talked about this a little while back and we've been talking about this for some time. So if you look at the charts, it's really moving as we thought. You know, the dollar just broke higher from that corrective channel. Then, you know, as expected, it's slowly correcting. If you go on a forward chart, you can actually see that we are slowly coming back down. So we do expect a bounce. Now we can be wrong, but the probability would be higher. So when the dollar corrects back down for next week, you're going to have dollar raised assets gaining a little bit more strength. So say XRP priced in dollar can literally go a little bit higher to test this resistance. Now that resistance may not be strong enough to push us back. But as of now, it definitely seems like we are going to be pushed back. So if you are looking at Bitcoin, yes, you came above here. Now there is a possibility that you are going to get rejected towards this direction. We don't know, but chances are that. So if that is the case, the first major support for the Bitcoin would be close to $38,000, dollars $39,000. Because the moving average, this is a 100-day moving average on a weekly. And you look at the price, you can see, yes, there are times when we go flirt with that particular level. Try to break it and then come back with a fake out. 
after which we kind of respect that as a support and move higher. So if we zoom out and look at that in last cycle, you get that point. You go below that, that's a bear market. You stay way below that, that's a bear market. Then you come up. Now, the bear and bear, it's different. One happens in three to five months, one goes for three, four years. So there is a huge difference between both of them. Now, if you come down to the price, looking at a daily, you are like, okay, fine, there's a 20 day moving average, you're below that. But you do have the support line which you have to test. So if you are looking for opportunities in this market, you are definitely, you are definitely trying to look for assets which can move higher. But that should never be a trap. So you see assets moving like this, that's okay, decent, but you see the daily volume like this and you're like, ah, I don't want to step into that. Because there are a lot of assets like that. Daily volume is like $5. You don't want to enter into that particular asset because that may really, really hurt you. You put the money in there and you get trapped there. You don't want to, that to happen. So first, basic stuff. Say you want to go into a project which you think is going to go higher. But before you start thinking that this is going to go higher, go into that particular project inside that. Mm -hmm. Then look at like what it's doing. Do you think that is, you know, worth it? Do you think the project is sustainable? Then go look at, you know, what's happening. If you kind of look at this and then you look, there's a lot of stuff which is upcoming. There's a lot of stuff which is happening. That means the team, developer team, is they are work, they're actually working on that project. That's actually kind of okay. That's not a red flag. But you see some of the project, they don't, you know, have any news, any updates from a long time. That is a red flag. If you don't see any adoption, if you don't see any kind of stuff, that's really dangerous. Now, if you go look at XRP BTC pair, we've been in this for like 500 days. That's a long period of time, right? If you look at 500 days of consolidation within this pattern, that's a long time frame. And if we are looking at this, yeah, we broke below this back in that November, December push. SEC push and then we came back higher but even at that point even when we went to two dollar mark we were still trending down against Bitcoin now keeping that in mind if you step back onto a weekly and kind of you know try to look at this wow that's a long period of consolidation and if you look at that yes from the previous top here to here that was like 826 days of consolidation and correction and right now it's like 1600 close to that so that's double what we had last time so as far as i understand the market if the fundamentals are staying the same if the adoption if the developers you know everything is going the positive direction all the parameters of that project is doing great except the price that means a day the price is going to break to the upside now look at the trend and then on the weekly you are looking for the indicators and here especially you are actually observing that the indicators are trending to the upside it's a rising trend line for me that's bullish and that's a bullish divergence and when you observe a bullish divergence or a pattern in the indicators which suggests that that's a reversal pattern that usually works see um yeah if you look at this particular stuff you actually got a double bottom here and look what happened in the price now there are a lot of different types of double bottoms in the price if you go look at this right now you are getting something similar something similar in another asset that's a micro cap that's a micro cap asset most of our members we're discussing about that particular asset we are into that we are running the notes blah 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 you know that is one of this reason so yes it's going lower it's because it is going lower, down, 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 down. The volatility is reducing and it definitely looks like you know, it had one up and came back down, went up, another down. Now you're coming back like this with an ending pattern. So if you happen to get this double bottom, you go higher. Similarly, right now here, you are getting a rising trend line when the price is staying super congested. So as we break through this moving average, we are going to get shot to the upside. Now, yeah, that's against bitcoin so bitcoin even if bitcoin drops and we xrp stay above 0.7 that kind of gives us the movement in xrp bitcoin so at that time when the money is being moved it will be moving on to different assets 
So yes, you will see opportunities because this market is changing. Whether it's a bull market or bear market, money actually moves into a direction. And if you want to make money, you need to follow that particular direction. So looking at XRP, yes, yes, it doesn't actually look too much euphoric. It doesn't actually look too good because right now, <clears throat> along with the point of, you know, trying this particular level, you also do get a possibility of, you know, now this goes both ways. Say, for example, you actually have this where it can be a double bottom. If we happen to come down till here, that can be a double bottom. Now, I'm not saying this because I've sold some of my XRP and moved to other assets. I'm saying because I've seen this particular stuff and I've sold my XRP somewhere close to this. Now, that's a local top, not the actual top, you know, so that's not a big deal. But if we break this down towards 0 0.7, 0 0.69 range and we break this one, that's fine. This is invalidated. But if not, then we are looking for a downside correction of another 20 percentage. And from, you know, 0 0.7, it may not actually sound crazy, but it does take you to 0.5, which would be your long term support range as of now you look at the previous corrections and you're like okay we came close to that level and we bounced so you can actually decide whether that's gonna happen or not so if we get a bounce and invalidate this stuff that's great that's huge because that what in that way price can now go towards a direction where we break this trend line which is valid from last year so you put that that's like you know 400 days of resistance being broken if that happens but before that, we need to make sure we bounce from this level because there's a lot of manipulation in the market. And even if now there's one quote, right, you can actually go to Google and check this one. It's like, you know, the market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. So it's important to hold your asset, but it's also important to make your liquidity so that you are not, you know, going to sell the primary race host because you believe in the fundamentals you believe in the price action you believe in the price which is going to match up the value so in the meantime you take a little bit of that and move into different assets and make that liquidity which will give you time right time is really important because patience is really important in this market now if you'll have to look at ether as a general altcoin market trend because when the entire market move up xrp moves up so we'll have to look at this and talk about this first so we're going to look at it on a shorter time span then move to a daily weekly and discuss like what's the odds here so while we look at a four hour chart which is a little bit short term chart of ether we actually get this particular perspective fine now we came to this particular support level which happens to be the resistance and then support here that's actually a good story because you get the same good story in ether when you go back to a weekly chart where you observe something similar close to the bottom of the cycle something similar close to the bottom of the cycle you can actually you know clearly see this now if you want i can actually make this say look like this in one chart in weekly and then we'll actually take the four hour on the other chart so if you see a adam and eve pattern here breaking to the upside coming back retesting that range and then going on to an ether chart again on a four hour time so in this particular chart what you are trying to look at is okay are you getting something similar and if so what do you expect the market to do because say you observe the price action and you observe the patterns. So this pattern, this particular pattern here, if it is suggesting you that it's going, trying to repeat something which happened in the history on a shorter time span, chances are you're going to do that. And if you're going to do that, that's kind of a continuity signal, right? You get this particular pattern here, you're breaking to the upside. That's great. You get this particular pattern. You broke to the upside, you retested, then you moved right you actually saw that run to the upside so that is actually in general trend for the ether and that actually gives the altcoin market a similar perspective similar perspective that's one of the reason why i'm here highlighting that this in ether is going to be attractive because right now with all the news all the understanding about the ether 
Oof, that's not great for Ether as an asset, but the price action shows that the corporations, the big guys b behind this, they don't actually care about this because they are doing this. So even if they're going to jail or not, that doesn't matter for the time being, unless that is solved. So again, the same stuff you're going to observe here on the altcoin chart where it says, okay, we are going to do this particular pattern where it's going to be an Adam and Eve, right? And the same Adam and Eve pattern you can observe here in altcoin market close to its market cycle bottom. And that is really interesting to actually observe. Oh, sorry for that. That's really interesting to actually see that the entire altcoin market shows you same stuff. But yeah, our favorite XRP is not showing that right now. But you are looking at a pattern in the altcoin market that this may give you an opportunity. You break to the upside, you stay there, and then you bounce. So that retest of Adam and Eve pattern, that's common. That kind of uh, happens every now and then. So you now go here on a shorter time span. So you can even go on a daily and uh, take all of this out and look at this. Yes, that is a possibility. And if that's a possibility, the first leg upside you are trying to actually measure this. And that's a 40-50% run to the upside after the bounce. So stay updated for your assets. If we do put, you know, try we actually try to run these sessions, ask for TA sessions where you can ask TA and I post those along with other breakout calls which I see in the market. So you now have these ideas of which asset is going to break higher because we are observing some of those are already running to the upside because we knew that these are going to have this breakouts. We were positioned into those. So if you would like to get those kind of updates for your portfolio when we are starting the wave two, you can definitely look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. And don't forget, don't forget, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button and if you received value for your time, you can consider hitting that like button. So guys, I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.